What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the German Bear Podcast and today we have a film room episode on the newest member of the Chicago Bears, Chase Claypool. The Chicago Bears added another weapon to the Bears offense and finally gave Justin Fields a new target to throw to and in today's film room episode we want to look at Chase Claypool, take a deep dive into his 2020, 2021 and 22 game tape, look at what he can bring to the Bears offense and how he will look for the rest of this year and also for the future years that he will be with us as well. So with that being said, let's not waste any more time and start it right off and get into today's film room. And now in the film room, we want to start off with a beautiful crossing route of Chase Claypool's rookie season. As always with the film room episodes, you know it guys, we want to watch the play first of all, just let it play through. And just for your information to start it off right away, he's just on the bottom of the screen right there, number 11, catching the football and then turns it into a touchdown. Beautiful play overall by the Steelers offense this time with Ben Roethlisberger still as the quarterback that will obviously change in 2022 where we will get some beautiful Mitch Trubisky action as well but right there at the bottom of the screen number 11 Chase Claypool he's the guy to watch and what I absolutely love about this play and this is why I just got it into this video is because he just runs so many great routes and at just absolutely love what he does in one-on-one -on -one situations and what his best thing about this play is just his release off the line he wins the route right away with this beautiful sell attacks the db right away doesn't shy away from it and then just crisp release that wins him the route like i said at the start right away we can watch the route first of all like i said just a crossing route across the field and then there we have the release boom easy stick release makes the DB turn his way completely, just sells it as a quick little fade or go right away, outside release, beautiful sell, amazing route, just makes the DB turn. And when you make a DB turn right away and make him go the wrong direction, just to start off with your release, that's a pretty damn well-ran route. And that's what uh, Chase Claypool does in that situation, just gets back to the inside, plants his foot, gets a good uh, break off of it, and then just runs wide open into the space. Roethlisberger reads it. So really crisp route, catches the ball, and then also one of his biggest abilities, just breaking tackles right there and just turning it up the field for a touchdown. That's just amazing, amazing work by Chase Claypool. And that's just a small little taste what we will see for the rest of this video, but absolutely beautiful play by him right away to get that touchdown in his rookie season. And yeah, just absolutely love what he brings to uh, this Bears offense right there. You see it again, just breaks the tackle, stays strong with a six foot four frame. Absolutely amazing play to start off this film room episode. As for the next play that we want to look at, we're still in Claypool's rookie season. This time he's about to be lined up right here with lots of leverage to the DB. And this is just one heck of a play by him just mossing a guy. We're not really mossing him, but just winning the one-on-one -on -one to the outside, even though there's lots of leverage given. And I also just love the awareness. But first of all, let's watch the play right away. Boom. Ben gets the ball up and then beautiful touchdown catch in traffic by Chase Claypool. And it's just a simple uh, basic go route by him, right? Just outside release go, but this time he just doesn't have a DB on him. So the release doesn't matter too much, but just works towards the sideline and then just does an incredible job insane catch and concentration on this one he just knows right away that he won't beat him uh, with this off coverage with pure speed or with any type of move he knows that he's going to travel with him back deep and this is just such a great ability by Chase Claypool because he's six foot four, has a huge frame and in this situation he's just easily able to box out this player work back to a kind of underthrown football that's also great awareness by him and then just make the catch be concentrated positions his body well in the one-on-one -on -one situation and this is just a big ability for him that we don't have at the moment with the Bears offense just a red zone threat that can easily go up and get it just that Allen Robinson type of player that can just make some spectacular catches right there oh it's not even Ben it's Mason Rudolph and there you see it just working back towards the ball always having the eyes on it and then just being able to make that grab 
four six points love it as for the third play that we want to look at we're still in his rookie season and this one will be just a beautiful deep touchdown to chase claypool this time he's lined up at the top of the screen one-on-one -on -one with the cornerback right there and just right here able to just simply beat him this time with speed so another very good component obviously uh, to his game a great ability to have to just beat guys off of the snap with your speed having that breakaway speed to finish it off this time as well it's just an amazing thing to have and he has just so many abilities man i will talk about him more in my conclusion as well but i'm really high on chase claypool after watching some game tape of his and he just always had uh, some tough battles with some other wide receivers to be that number one option. Always had some good wide receivers with Juju, uh, Deontay Johnson, with uh, now George Pickens, right? It's just a tough situation to be in, but right there it runs a beautiful go, outside release go. Uh, the release is nothing too spectacular on this one, but just shows off his speed. Six foot four still has that breakaway speed, good acceleration off the line as well, and then just beats him with speed in the long run right there okay release gets him to the inside a bit and then makes him or just beats him with that and then boom makes a catch breakaway speed that's a special ability for a guy that's freaking six foot four absolutely love this one that's why i showed this play right there just insane athletic ability by him right there and that's what we need in the bears offense right we have some speed with darnell mooney but this guy can do so many things for you he can block he can just run well routes he has the speed for deep ability uh, for deep plays he has the speed for some sharper cuts yak ability and then also some very good hands as well so just a play to showcase it to you right there and with that last play, we want to move on to the 2021 season and look at some plays, what he did in that season, still being somewhat of that outside wide receiver. But in this case, he was actually in a three by one formation. We will have three wide receivers on this one. He will be guy number two. So he has a one receiver. He's number two. He's number three. And Chase Claypool is right there as a number two on this one. And this is just another real good play by him. Just showing that he can open on short routes. Can get open on short routes as well. I think that's super important with the Bears offensive line at the moment. Just a guy that can consistently get open uh, in short area situations and catch the football for you. And in this situation, he just runs a slant, turns it upfield. And then again, yak ability. Make some guys miss, break some tackles for a huge 59 yard game. That's all, again, that's all I'm about to say on this play. Like I said, the run is, uh, the run is well run. <laughs> the route is well run. Excuse me. Right there, just three step slant, boom, and then turns it up the field, makes some guys miss. I just absolutely love it. Good route against the linebacker. That's obviously a mismatch. Good find by the quarterback. And then there you see it, just having that breakaway speed again against the Broncos. Just, I think the, the play prior was against the Broncos as well. And there you can see it from the end zone angle again as well. Just being able to break some tackles, be elusive there as well. I absolutely love the first move that he puts on this guy. Boom. Puts his foot to the ground and breaks it away to the outside. This guy just falls on the ground on this one. Or almost just runs by him and then there at the sideline. Breaks his tackle with a quick stiff arm and gains just huge chunk yards. Can't wait and see him doing that in a Bears uniform. But running deep routes and catching some football is not the only thing that he can do for you uh, i mean catching the football is the biggest essential thing about him but what i love about this play right there specifically is not only his ability to catch this football go up and get it but also just to be a security blanket for justin fields another big time ability by him that we can definitely utilize and with him having a increased role in that bears offense i think he will get more targets and just has the ability now or has uh, the options to 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 just showcase what he can actually do but right there just a simple fade route sells it beautifully as a just a deep route in that case a true go route but turns his eyes earlier just like a seam from the inside where you look about this uh look at the quarterback uh in about this area as well so does a great job at selling this route first of all with his release to uh the cornerback in that situation and then just going up and get it just turning his shoulders, beautiful back shoulder throw in that situation as well. And then boom, body catches it, secure catch for the first down right there, falls forward. Absolutely love this one. This should be a great connection with Justin Fields, who just 
seeks that target. He loves to throw deep. He loves to throw some jump balls to some guys. And boom, right there, easy catch for Chase Claypool for the first down in that situation. Also absolutely love his body positioning in that situation as well. Just gets it up there well towards the outside shoulder. Creates some space with his big body and then just gets the football. Beautiful play by my man Chase Claypool. Moving on to play number six of today. This is just the play that I call sit and run by him right there. Just runs a beautiful curl. Uh, just for your information, he's right here this time. Beautiful curl route by him. And this is just an insane job. Just getting yards after the catch. Breaking away from multiple, multiple Eagles players for just that easy first down. And uh, from now on, we're also just uh, moving into 2022 right there. And there's the other angle as well. Boom, gets it in there. But we want to look at it from the beginning. Uh, just right there. Beautiful curve route. Sits into the flat. Uh, sits into the open space. But this time it's man coverage. So it's always tough to run a curve route against man coverage. But he runs a really crisp speed cut on this one. Nice breakdown at the top of the route. And just cre creates enough separation for this throw to get to him. We're already into 2022 with this play right there. I think it's a throw by Kenny Pickett if I'm not mistaken. And in there that's just insane ability to catch it and just going up the field breaking some tackles for some extra yards. That's the help that Justin Fields needs for that offense. That's just the missing piece. A guy that can just turn up the field get some yards after the catch. I mean Vels Jones Jr. might be a guy like like that but he's not ready to be that really big time receiver yet as we have seen throughout the first couple of weeks that he's now played so chase claypool just shows off his body strength and just turns up the field for some insane yak yards as for the next play that I have with me, it's just a beautiful over route this time. In the slot, like I said, in 2022, he played more of a slot role for the Steelers. This time, QB1, Mitch Trubisky on the field. Woo, love it. Uh, beautiful right there seeing him on the field. But uh, just a simple over route. We will watch the play first of all. And what I love about this play is just... His ability to see that the quarterback is about to escape, helping him out, showing him the hands that he can throw it to him, and then just making an insane grab, showing off his hands, which he has pretty good ones. I, I mean, I love what he does, uh, how he just concentrates on the football and catches basically everything thrown his way right there against zone. Just a simple over out by him, but just the catch is absolutely incredible. The adjustment on the ball, being able to haul that in. Those are some special catches to help out your quarterback and just to get up his confidence because you can help him out in these certain situations. You can just bail him out, out of some mistakes as well, right? So that's obviously helpful having a guy like that that you see him just coming across the field and then Boom, working back towards the football, falling down, leaping out, uh, stretching out for that football and just making one heck of a catch in that situation to help out your young quarterback. I think that's just a beautiful new asset to the Bears offense that, will, uh, that Justin Fields will definitely love. And speaking of adjustments, this one is also a beautiful showcase of his ability and awareness on the field, this time leading the bunch formation right there on this play. And he just runs a basic shallow cross or shallow route against zone coverage and then just sees the quarterback escaping the pocket, turning it up uh, the field and then just one heck, one heck of the catch, uh, one heck of a catch right there by Chase Claypool. Probably his best catch that we've uh, seen throughout this video today. As I said throughout uh, for the route, it's just a simple shallow route uh, across the field and then sees that Mitch Trubisky has to escape the pocket and then just turns it up the field somewhat of that drag wheel combination uh, that's in certain playbooks. This is not a design play, but he sees that the play breaks down, great awareness, turns it up the field. Gets his uh, quarterback, first of all, time to scramble, but also just the opportunity to throw it to him against a linebacker right there. Great separation, and then Mitch with a good throw and an even better adjustment. Absolutely sick catch right there by Chase Claypool. Love this one. Just perfect example uh, to just show off his hand skills. Just great concentration on this one. And like I said, love the awareness of turning up the field and just helping his uh, quarterback out in that situation. And when you look at the catch, boom, look at that. Oh my god, that's absolutely insane. Just love the adjustment. 
Uh, and then nasty catch around the defender. Feet are still in bounds. It's just an absolute incredible play. Just a concentration with a player just up to his face. Just right there catching it around him. Still being able to get the feet in bounds. That's one heck of a play to help out your quarterback in that situation. As for the next play that we want to look at, it's a pretty similar one to uh, the pretty sick yak catch uh, example that I showed you earlier this time he's again in the slot and does just something similar right just runs a curl route sits into the soft spot of the zone so it's more like a stick route it's not as deep as a curl sits into the soft coverage and then just turns up the field lowers his shoulders and carries defenders for lots of yards after the catch just absolutely beautiful but first of all route wise well ran love that he just recognizes the zone coverage and sits into the soft spot and I think that's why you will fit into the Bears offense right away because the Bears love their sits their curl routes their whatever routes to just exploit zone coverage and Chase Claypool has done that over and over and over again for Pittsburgh this year so I think he will fit in with the Bears offense right away get a smaller role against the Dolphins obviously because he still doesn't have that connection with uh, Justin Fields not having the benefit of working together in preseason or throughout training camp but I think he can contribute on those types of routes right away. It doesn't have too much. I mean, it has to do with timing, but it's easier to connect on those uh, compared to some other routes. And then right there, boom, lowers his shoulder. Absolutely love it. Carries three defenders or even four defenders if you want to uh, count four in this one. But this guy's not really doing anything on this one. But love how he just carries those uh, DBs forward and just gain some extra yards that's just absolutely incredible just beautiful job by him in that situation and that's why I can't wait and see what he does for the Bears offense because he's just such a yak beast it's absolutely beautiful and I just can't wait and see how his skill set unfolds with the Bears and Luke Getze as well how he puts him in certain situations that will be a really fun time moving forward and I want to finish it off today with two more plays today. The first one being just a simple slant route, this time being lined up to the outside. So pretty uncommon for his 2022 season. But right there at the bottom of the screen, there he is. And you will just see him run a pretty damn precise slant on this one. Gets open for some easy yards. Just once again, want to showcase that he can be that Pretty nice security blanket for Justin Fields that we're still looking for in that offense. I mean, Darnell Mooney has been getting better and better, but I think just getting a second guy like that can obviously always help your offense. Like I said, just a three-step slam, but I absolutely love how he sells it as a go, as a fade route with that release. Wins the route with the release once again. I think he has definitely... Probably the second or the best release on the Bears at the moment, even though Dornell Mooney is a pretty damn good route runner as well. But right there, just boom, sells it to the DB, makes him turn his hips once again, and then just has a small little space right there, small window to throw to now for for Mitch, but that's still a pretty big window for the NFL, right? And then gets open catches the football and gains some nice yards on second down. I think that's a big time play, especially just for a smaller, shorter route in a slant route, but gets open and just once again showcases the ability that he can probably be the security blanket for Justin Fields moving forward. And the last play that we want to look at today obviously has to be his first touchdown of the 2022 season. It's his first and also only one, but that's a pretty cool play by him. You'll see him right there. And I'm going to just move uh, this play right away or let it play right away for you guys. Just see it. Beautiful sit route in between the zone coverage in the red zone. And throughout his career, he has been a pretty damn good red zone threat, especially in his rookie season. Had, I think, 11 total touchdowns that year. Dipped a bit in 2021. And this year was kind of limited or had a limited role in that offense with those other wide receivers being targeted more. And also just having inconsistent quarterback play with Mitch Trubisky and Kenny Pickett. But overall, love his route right there. Just reads the defense well. Sits into the zone. Just once again, displays the ability to read the defense. And then then being able to just make a not really tough catch, but still a catch in traffic with a defender right behind him, just helping out his quarterback, making a catch in the end zone for a touchdown. Still not a spectacular play, but absolutely love this one. Just 
outboxing the guy, that Jimmy Graham type of stuff that we miss in the offense this year, definitely, but he can definitely bring that to us, and that's how I'm seeing him contribute right away against the Dolphins as well, just use him in the red zone, throw him some footballs and see if he can come down with it, and that's just one beautiful small little touchdown right there for my man Chase Claypool to finish up uh, of this film room episode. So with that being said, that's the end of today's Film Room episode. As a quick little conclusion, I think Chase Claypool is a multiple versatile weapon that Luke Getze and Justin Fields now can use moving forward. Like I said in this episode earlier before as well, there will be some early on struggles with the connection between Justin Fields and Chase Claypool, or I at least expect that with both not having spent a lot of time yet together. But there were reports that they played after practice that Darnell Mooney showed some routes that Cole Combet was helping out as well and obviously Justin Fields was throwing some footballs to build up that connection a bit as well but overall I'm so happy with this move by Ryan Poles I think a second round pick definitely justifies that move because Chase Claypool has been a wide receiver that has been in a system that is not really working well for any kind of receiver that plays there right but also at the same time he has always had much or a lot of contenders there as well for that wide receiver one spot now with Chicago obviously there's Darnell Mooney but I think those two guys can really work together nicely and just build up a really good dynamic duo for this offense moving forward I love what he brings to the Bears he can be that security blanket he can beat guys deep he can go up and get it he runs some precise routes I love his release I think he's a really much complete wide receiver that is freaking six foot four only 24 years old and with that being said I think that's an absolute steal by Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears love that they pulled that off before the trade deadline and the Bears now have a very young talented wide receiver moving forward and I just can wait and see how he plays against the Miami Dolphins. So with that being said, guys, that's already the end of the episode, guys. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think of Chase Claypool. Do you like the addition or not? And what did you see in today's Film Room episode? Definitely let me know if you saw something different than me. Always appreciate that as well. So with that being said, like and subscribe if you liked the video. Check out Instagram and Twitter if you want to as well. And as always, guys, bear down.